Jenny Blake saying, have a good weekend. See you Monday. That's a wrap. Good job, Jenny, as usual. Thank you. Whoa, let's get out of here. Jenny? Oh, hello. What's the boss doing here so early? I want to see you in my office. Fine. Why don't you say I grab a cup of coffee and I'll be there in a... Now. What's the problem? Right. Uh, what is this? Everybody showing up? Early birds? What's the occasion? Well, I don't know about them, but I've got work to do. No, not us. We just came to see you. Are there any TV stars around? Oh. And you hang around, Frisco. I want to talk to you, too. Two? Mm -hmm. I'm uh, first on the block. Right. Maybe well, we get lucky and he'll fire us. Huh? Oh, just knock that off. I want to see you. Uh, huh? Can I make a quick phone call first? If it's fast, yes. Hurry. Mr. Bray. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt again. No. It's all right. Yeah, we were waiting on you. So did you see Frisco? No, the last I heard from him was yesterday. When I left him, we were both pretty torn up. Could he be at work? It's possible. Tony, Frisco's thinking about quitting teen time. It's got to be where he is. I'm going to call the studio. You know, this show could be a golden opportunity for Frisco. It's just what he needs. The only problem is, how do we convince him of it? Well, I'm going to talk to him. You know, he's got no right to drop this syndication project. He already has. At least that's what he told Derek. Well, I'm going to get him to change his mind. Will you come with me? Uh, I don't think I should. Not Why not? Now, maybe we can talk some reason into him. I think he'll be better off going without me. Now, Felicia, why would you say that? Frisco's not going to listen to me. He proved that to me yesterday. I'm really glad that you told me that it was at the studio. I was really worried about him, but I'm not going to be put up against that brick wall again. No, you have to understand one thing. Now, Frisco will always hurt the one he loves. Now, I know that sounds like a cliché, but it's invariably true. It does seem that way. It's like he's compelled to test his closest friends and his relatives. The more he cares about you, the harder you're going to have to prove yourself to him. It's like he's afraid of being burned again, and he just can't relax into a relationship. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, I'm sure you have. At least you've got to stick with him. He's worth it. I know that, too. And I'm not angry with him. I just want to help him. And I honestly don't think he wants my help. Frankly, I don't think he's going to listen to you, either. He may not, but I'm going to try. Well, just be prepared to be shot down. He's determined to get his own way on this one. Well, not if we can help it. Will you please call me and let me know how he's doing if you talk to him? Sure. Yeah. I just hope you can get through to him. We will. Bye-bye. Bye. I'll get through. know why I asked you in here. Oh, it's probably not to congratulate me on the great job I've been doing. To offer you an even better one. I appreciate that, but uh, running a television studio really isn't my bag. How about your own show? Syndicated. With the potential of being in homes all throughout the country. I do like to travel. Come on. What do you say, Frisco? The same thing I said yesterday. You haven't changed your mind. Did you expect me to? I was hoping you would. Derek, I'm sorry to let you down. I'll survive. I'm not so sure about you. Oh, I'll manage. What are you going to do, Frisco? Don't you realize you're throwing away a career? Easy come, easy go. Huh? Why is it that I'm getting the feeling that you're not listening to me? I don't know. Don't you care about your future? I care much more about my present. And what better way to spend it than being a TV star? <laughs> huh? Bar hopping's a hell of a lot of fun. Damn it, Frisco, will you please at least once give me the courtesy of a straight answer? I did. Yesterday. Nothing's changed. Wait a minute, Frisco. Can you honestly tell me that you thought this out completely and thoroughly? as completely and thoroughly as I intend to. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a few people waiting for me to interview them for teen time. Ta-da. My boss hates it when I'm late for taping. You understand? Go ahead. We're not getting anywhere. Sometimes there's 
there's no point in talking. It's tough being a single parent, sure. But in my case, the rewards far outweigh the problems. Of course, I had a lot of help. Well, I'd say you both did. It has to be that way, right? Otherwise, your, your family could fall apart. Yeah, that's the way it was for Dad and me. When Mom died, I just lost it, you know? I couldn't handle anything. I felt like I was all alone in the world. We caught each other on the rebound. Oh, not that we weren't close before, but having to go on without the most important woman in either of our lives really forced us to pull for each other. I was ready to give up gymnastics, but after Mom died, I just figured, why should I continue? Dad encouraged me to keep with it. He helped me train, he came to all my meets. I couldn't have done it without him. We couldn't have done it without each other. He's like a mother and a father to me. He's really got his work cut out for him. That's exactly. Do you feel that you're... What well, Dad never was for Frisco. Well, what about for you, either? You turned out pretty well. I was older, you know. I think I'll know when it's time to cut the cord, as they say. Frisco was a lot more sensitive. Well, Very impressionable. And you were? I'll tell you what I... I don't know. I got a lot of mother's dad. Frisco never did. Nice sure if you want to know the difference between us, that's it in a nutshell. That's it, folks. Good show. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bye. I uh, hope we didn't sound too, you know, corny. <laughs> <laughs> no, you sounded wonderful. I appreciate it. I'll tell you what, your family can adopt me any day. Okay. Bye-bye. Um, excuse me. You bet. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Hi, hi, brother. Hi, brother. So, um, it's good to see you. It's good to be here. How are you? I'm tired. Yeah? And you? Oh, I'm, I'm hanging in. There's, um, a lot for us to tell you. The funeral was... Yeah, Tanya. What? Don't start. You don't want to talk about it? I'd rather not. But we thought you'd want to know don't, about... Don't think, okay? Just... Let it slide. Okay, let's talk about you. Boring. <laughs> so what have you been up to? Trying to make a living, man. <laughs> Did you see the show? Yeah. What'd you think? It was nice. Mm -hmm. I liked the relationship. It was, I don't know, a lot different than ours with Dad. I thought we weren't going to talk about that. Sorry. Frisco has just been on my mind a lot with the funeral and everything. Maybe we can talk about this some other time, okay? Okay. Let's go back and talk about you again. Why did you not do the syndicated show? Who told you that? I heard. Huh? Felicia? Why would you pass up a shot like that, Frisco? It could do so much for your career. Oh, career. What career? Come on, Frisco. It's no big deal, all right? That's not what I heard. Drop it, Tony. No. I'm not asking you. Why is it that you always behave like you have no career, no future? Have you had a look into my crystal ball lately? What's bothering you? You? And everybody else who won't lay off me? I've had enough arguments in my lifetime, please. You're gonna have to put up with one more today, all right? No, not today. 